Moment of truth, dude. What's up, guys? We're back. No longer Michigan Dirt. Name drop. Dirt Dudes UTV. We're also going to have merch. Unfortunately, not in this video, but the next video, I'm pretty sure we're going to have all the merchandise dropped. We only got a few pieces of clothing, and we want to make sure everything is good to go before we release it to you guys. You can thank the Bid19 for that. <laughs> But yep, this is a new venture for us. We're just trying to reach more people and I believe uh, rebranding ourselves will help a lot. Enough of that nonsense. I hope you guys like the name. Leave a comment below uh, if, you, if, you, uh, if you like it. And also, just a little FYI, the merchandise will have mer uh, Michigan Dirt merch. So don't think we're just forgetting about uh, good old MD here. So yeah. uh, you're still gonna be able to get that. But today's video, what it's all about, is Nick upgrading the RS1. It is finally happening, guys, and look at what we got here. Boom! baby! After Market Assassin's exhaust, we got the Dino Jet Tuner with one tune, which it is the highest tune you can get for the RS1 out of Aftermarket Assassin's. Yep. And he even picked up a couple of front axles. Let's make sure this thing's uh, gonna be all okay for all that extra power. Oh yeah, winter riding's here, so. It is. <laughs> what is uh, the horsepower gain? Like about 15 horse altogether? Cause Nick does have the aftermarket assassins clutching already. Yep, so got the clutching. And I believe with this tune and with the exhaust, I should gain somewhere between 13 to 15 horse. So, Which is a big gain. Yeah. It doesn't sound like much, but you do that in any vehicle. You, In my opinion, you just throw an exhaust on a vehicle and you can tell the difference. Yes. So I think it is going to be a right. world of improvement. I can't wait. <laughs> but first, we're going to do a little test with the RS1. Uh, we don't have a draggy like side by side blog or some of the other people. So we're gonna do a little good old fashioned start from one point. I start the timer, <laughs> he goes to another point and we're gonna compare it to the at, before the tune and after the tune. Yep. See how much faster he gets from point A to point B. <laughs> Not like the it. most whatever Professional, <laughs> thing, but, but it'll tell us something. It's Dirt, UT, dirt Dudes UTV approved. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> All right, let's get to work on this, guys. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so we're up on our private course here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're going to do a couple of runs. Uh, here's, the, here's what we're going to do. This white post right here, Nick's going to start here, probably do about three runs, and go to that uh, second pool down there that you guys can see. Whoop. I'm gonna see if you get there quicker after putting on the tune yep. exhaust. I yep. know this is janky, but we're doing it anyway. Yeah, we want to see how much of a difference it's gonna make, you know, so. Uh, Besides just feeling it. Yeah. Also, nice we're getting it. a couple of sound clips in here so you guys can see, hear the yep. difference between stock and uh, aftermarket assassins. Yeah, exactly. Let's go back here and take a listen to what it is right now. Stock, I'm gonna rev it up for you guys, and then we'll do the same thing after I put the aftermarket on. Plus, you guys will hear it uh, whiz by me as we're doing the time stuff. I got 926 for the first one. All right, for Nick's second round, he got 9.06, so a little bit faster than the first one. And he said he was going about 60 miles an hour, which is crazy. That's a really long time because some people are doing it in two seconds, three seconds. It's bananas, man. Yeah, he's right in that nine second range. This one was 9.11, so I think we got a good idea of what he's doing in this little measurement we have going on. Get, all right. 9.11, I mean, they're all in the nine seconds, low nine, seconds. nine second yep. range. So you're looking at, and I, when I was passing you, I was looking at the speedometer, and I, I would pass you at about 62 every yeah. time. So zero to 60 on this RS1 as it sits right now, nine seconds. Yep. Hopefully we get in those eights. Yeah, with let's the, get in the eights or yeah. sevens. <laughs> All right, back to the dirt compound. Right, let's get the parts on, see what it does. Yes. We're back in the dirt compound. Aftermarket assassins all over this thing. Yes. We're gonna attack the exhaust first, and then, uh, like we said in the beginning, Nick already has the clutching done. We yep. might have to finesse it a little bit, 
Yeah, but, I gotta look up the uh, charts and see what the what they recommend when you run an exhaust in a level two tune. So I actually think we do have to adjust the weights a little bit on it, but we got them to. to we'll see. It. Like this vehicle also has different size tires and stuff, so there's a lot of variabilities there. There is. So yep. But <clears throat> right now we're gonna get the exhaust on. Um, should go pretty slick, and then after that we will do the tune. Yeah, so. we'll put the programmer on it. Yeah, programmer. This is a pretty basic job. We're gonna do a little yeah. time lapse of it. If you yeah. don't know how to do it, you probably shouldn't own this. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we say that now. <laughs> Exhaust has re been removed. Yep, it has. She's dirty, rusty, and heavy. <laughs> <laughs> and as far as taking it off, it was super simple. The biggest thing is these two bolts. Yep. So yeah. if, uh, we recommend if you got an impact, definitely but, use it. <laughs> definitely use it. Throw a little PB blaster, whatever you got on there. Um, Easy to break that. Yeah. Those bolts. Yeah, it is. So other than that, though, it was just some springs and literally popping it right yeah. out of place. Let's and go there's. grab your other one now, man. Yeah. I say we freaking compare these two bad boys. Look at that. That's so much better that's looking, so much. too. No dirt. It's beautiful. <laughs> Let me do a little arm test here. Eee, that's pretty heavy. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's considerable difference. Big difference. Big difference in weight. You can just feel how much heavier this is here. She's gonna slip uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I think we gotta do one thing before we put that on, dude. What's that? You gotta start this up with no exhaust. Oh, I, mean, I think it's a good idea. What does that sound like? You can't have your exhaust off and not start it up. Yeah, that, we gotta know that's against the rules. <laughs> Sounds like an animal. It's gonna sound awesome. Woo! Holy crap. I'm glad we did that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> that sounded crazy. Wow, that was insane how loud it was. Yeah, it actually I actually jumped when we fired it up and it made that noise. I was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <Spooked> me. <laughs> Alright, let's slam this exhaust on. Right, let's see what she sounds like after that. All right, so when you guys remove everything, make sure to take off this back heat shield. You gotta get to one of these springs. It's no longer used. Uh, all there is is two springs on the lower part. That's all you're gonna be using from the original hardware. Uh, yep, those, those two original springs and the uh, bolts, the spring bolts that go into here. Yep, spring bolts. Yep. I think it's gonna sound just like it did a second ago, dude. <laughs> <laughs> if it did, man, that would be gnarly. Oh yeah, I'd be getting me an AA exhaust. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everybody know I'll I'm just, my way. I'm kidding, mine's already too loud. All right, here's a little tidbit. Uh, the AA exhaust is non-packing, uh, unlike my Trinity exhaust. I have to change the packing that all the time. Once you put this on, you're done. That's it. I would probably recommend that for most exhausts if you don't want to deal with the packing. All right, now let's start it up. Yeah, <laughs> really tight. <laughs> uh, also, so these upper ones, now that they don't have springs, it's actually this metal rod goes right through it, and there's a little clip. Yep, uh, and this is the washer and clip. Yep, easy peasy. Easy peasy. Tools are super minimal. Basically, a 10 millimeter, 14 millimeter pliers. Uh, I use 7 eighths for the O2 sensor, and, and I would definitely recommend having an impact. I made it easy for those exhaust bolts right there. All right, so uh, putting these header bolts on, they're kind of a pain. These springs are under some serious tension. You need two people. Yeah, you do need two people, need and two. we pulled out the big Milwaukee, too. Yeah. Happy? I like it. I like it. It looks so much better, dude. It does. That's, that's, that's what I want right there. That's what needs to happen. So, easy squeezy. Actually, it was not that bad. Uh, the biggest part was 
battling the header. This header piece is crazy. Yeah. And you really got to line this thing up. Yep. Cause you can even see we might have to realign it cause it looks like the donut gasket is covered more at the top than at the bottom. Yeah. So let's fire it up. We'll see if there's any leaks and any go leaks. from there. Moment of truth, Moment dude. Of truth. <laughs> like on the inside of this <laughs> like how much different is it yeah exactly. we don't know what the inside of the AA looks like but we know it's not as filled up yeah. as this thing exactly you know i'm curious is like does a lot of mud get caught up in here a lot of sand get caught up here is it clean in here does it, I, I don't know so i actually want to because i was feeling a loss in power and i started thinking is my muffler plugged up you know, is it not breathing correctly? It's not that crazy because Nick actually flooded his rig a few times. Yep, in an early And curve. mud and dirt could have got into that. If you guys haven't seen one of the worst ones, check out our Silver Lake video over the summer. Yes. Nick went bogging deep. <laughs> yeah. The old artist went and turned into a boat. So we're going to cut this bad boy right in half. Yeah. We're going to see what she looks like inside. Not right this second, but it will be later in this video. Yep. So, yes. so stay tuned. All right. Time to do the tune. So, it will come on this box. Here is the new Dino Jet. This is a newer one than some of the older models. It looks pretty nice. We haven't turned it on or anything. When you open up the box, it comes with all the instructions you need to tune your vehicle. It comes with the cord to plug her right in. It comes with another cord, so if you need to get tunes in the future or anything, you can hook it up to your computer. It comes with some va fancy Velcro if you actually want to leave this tuner on your vehicle. You can get some of the diagnostics and you can uh, whatever look it all over and of course the most expensive piece of them all and I can't get it out uh, a sticker <laughs> yep. you can't have aftermarket parts without your sticker exactly that's the most important part <laughs> <laughs> all right let's begin this uh, tuning process so on the RS1 you can take that cord and it plugs in right underneath your steering wheel. Easy peasy. So easy, Nick could do it. Yeah. <laughs> if I could do it, Nick could do it. All right, so we just plugged this bad boy in. The first step you want to do is turn your key on. Yep. Our second step now is to read the ECU. Yep. So it will be compliant with this vehicle. Press. So you got to press that square. Yep. There we go. 
15 minutes to complete. All right, and now we have to wait 15 minutes. Select the tune file. Whoop. We are full, 100%. She's red, so, <clears throat> all right. Red so, for good. Red for good. <laughs> so right now, so we're gonna go back to the main menu and flash the tune. So we're gonna go return. Yeah. two, right there. nice. Easy peasy, so, dude. All right, so press square to start ECU flash. Okay, file, level two, RS1, tuner, aftermarket assassins. And right there it actually says Razor RS1 level two, 91 plus octane plus exhaust, which we have, which makes it sound sweet. <laughs> level two tune is supposed to take away a lot of the restrictions. So uh, with the RS1, when you're on the brake and the throttle for more than like five or eight seconds, it actually kills the motor. Um, Which makes no sense because this has yes. a two uh, two foot setup. And if you're in a track or you're doing some heavy cornering, you want to be able to dance that brake and that pedal at the same time. So it's going to delete that, and it's also going to um, delete the seat belt. Which we already bypassed the seatbelt. Yeah, belt. because he's already uh, running a pro arm. Yeah, which if you have an RS1 and you don't have uh, harnesses. Get them. So right now it's writing it. So it erased the, the original one and now it's putting in yeah. the I'm AA just tune. right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm who would so it be? I just wanted to get it 100% so I can get in it and see it. <laughs> <laughs> Flash is complete. Ooh. So after this, I mean, we should be pushing about 125. Okay, so Flash complete. To verify Flash, turn key off, then on. Oh, you better turn it on, dude. It's running out of time. Is it? I don't know. Oh, no, it says after flash complete, turn key off and wait 45 seconds. Oh, my God. Before dude. turning <laughs> back on to start. Good thing you didn't listen to me. <laughs> I know. So you can tell this is all on the whim. This is how easy it is. We're yeah. doing it while recording. It is. <laughs> it, it, it's pretty simple. And, you know, when you get the uh, uh, Dino Jet, when you get your tune, it comes with a, a whole thing on how to do it, too. So It's uh, super it's easy. it's it is it's real it's really i mean they give you pictures and everything of yeah. what you're gonna be seeing on the screen <clears> and so uh the nice thing about this too is it does more than just flash your rig if you actually leave it hooked up i could mount this right to it and uh you could data log you, you could, could see you could what's going on with your machine see exactly what your machine's doing uh view all the diagnostic codes that come up so it's a really handy tool to have. Yeah, like you could just send in your ECU if you wanted, but we felt like it was nice to have this because you can tune other vehicles with it. Plus, if you have any issues or right here, it will tell you everything that's going on. Exactly. Instead of waiting forever at the dealership or whatever it may be because it could be something simple. 100%. So, all right. I'm feeling maybe 45 seconds has passed. Has it been 45 seconds? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, it has. Yeah. <laughs> There it goes. It comes. Yep. It came to life. She's back. I'm reading you correctly. And look up here. We got channel one, two, three, and four. So you can customize what you want this to say, also. Yep. So, all right. Cool. take this for its first rip yep it's nighttime right now but he's gonna get a he's gonna get a feel I for can't it. not not drive it you can't wait for a whole day what are you talking <laughs> wait, about no wait i gotta know what the thing feels like dude but, uh, lauren has not heard it yet she just got back <laughs> so much better holy yeah. crap dude he's ripping I on it still it's hear that screamer, dude. that's screaming that sounds so good that sounds like a monster damn Woo! listen to that thing <laughs> that is so much better man
crazy, dude. You can hear it so far. Really? It sounds amazing. Oh, dude. And it's not overheating, dude. It's staying. The fan, yeah. The so fans also with this tune, your fans kick on sooner. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. I know it takes off some of the restrictions that players put on the vehicle, but there's wow. benefits. There's some mega, mega benefits, man. This thing is just night and day difference. Night and day difference. It's it's insane. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I can't wait to see it in the trails and oh. get the rip around. See right there. Fans right now kicked on at 190. When in stock, they kick on at 199. So, 10 degree difference. Yeah, keep your machine cool, man. Keep your machine cool. What you want? That's perfect. I love it. No regrets. <laughs> <laughs> no regrets. No regrets. I love it. That is sick. Alright, keep taking it. Oh my god, it goes way faster in reverse. <laughs> He's already impressed. God, that sounds so much better. My God, I just love the way that thing sounds right now. Oh my God, that's sick. Wow, man. Chief, what do you think? That's, uh, that's a night and day difference, man. Yeah. That's huge. It, it is. sounds so much better. Bottle response is way Way better. Way better. Yep. It felt flush, man. Right now, the way with the clunking and stuff and everything, in my opinion, it is a trail master machine. Yeah. Like, it is instant power. It's... <laughs> I will say, when you're in that trail section over there, it's crazy. The only time I noticed maybe the clutching could be different is when I ripped down the road. I was right. like, it could be faster, but besides that, I would... I would rather just it be how it is, man. It's freaking bananas, yeah. dude. In the it's trails, bananas. it was out of control, dude. I know. Like the power goes right up there. The biggest thing is, is you don't get into like the 70s super easy with the clutching setup right now. Right. Like but, you're kind of winding it out a little bit, it feels like. But in that trail, though. Oh, it's, it's just it's all a monster. the power you want, man. Yeah, it's a monster. This thing is badass. <laughs> <laughs> badass. Boom. You heard it. I mean, with this setup, with the aftermarket assassins, set up and this RS1 how it is like I drive my turbo S all the time I, I mean every once in a while I hop in this vehicle it is so much different than my turbo S it's it's insane it's insane and with this tune and clutch setup this style vehicle it is a trail ripping god dude yeah. it's crazy it it's is. so good <clears throat> this thing is a monster I love it. I love it. Me too. So I was just pulling my in, pulling mine in, and uh, it almost seems like mine might be quieter yeah, than we, his. Yeah. We're, we're gonna do a little comparison. We're gonna do a little comparison. Let me start this bad boy up. Holy crap! It's comparable now. we end in today's video and we'll yep. conclude into tomorrow I say exactly and we get some day footage of us ripping down the road and comparing the times 100% so thanks for watching guys see you tomorrow Ooh, it's the next day it's time to murder this exhaust yep let's see what's inside <laughs> this thing we're gonna zip her right in half using the trusty DeWalt I'm thinking it's gonna be I think there's gonna be a bunch of dirt in there I don't know that's what I'm curious about I want to see if there is like a lot of dirt sand in there you know, because we did swamp the RS1 real bad over the uh, summer. And, yeah, I'm just wondering, did a lot of, like, does the exhaust push, like, all that out? Mm. Does some slip in there? So One thing's for sure, it's definitely packed like a mofo because I can't believe your machine can sound like that. So yeah, exactly. It's definitely filled with some crap. All right, let's do it. Oh, safety glasses. Flash <laughs> sunglasses. Five inch grinder. <laughs> <laughs> Is it in half? I think so. Or there's something inside of it keeping it attached. 
a strong exhaust. It is. Okay, when in doubt, just beat it out. <laughs> Smack it. Just pretend it's all those people that made fun of you, dude. How dare you! <laughs> I risk it all! <laughs> John Cena, dude. I was gonna say, I learned this from WWE. There is the inside. It's definitely got some honeycomb pack in here, man. This thing is restricting the hell out of you. Yeah. What's the More other? packing up inside here. Yeah, it is. So, okay. Stock exhaust is just full of packing. Yeah. And it your is. cat is in there, too. So. Yeah. All right, now that we got uh, tearing that exhaust in half, I think it's time to see how much faster that RS, RS1 is compared to uh, yesterday. I want to go see what the difference is here. Yesterday, yesterday we averaged around, what, like 9 seconds, 9.3? Yeah, like 9, 9, 3, somewhere around there. Uh, and that was actually, like, when I was passing them, I was doing about 60 miles an hour. So that's pretty close, like 0 to 60. All right. We're about to do this test here, see if he can beat uh, the nine second. I think he's easily gonna get into the eights, even with this snowy, icy road. It's definitely not the same conditions. All right, timer girl, go. That was late, that was super late. was the second light. I think maybe it is in the clutching. I'm sure. Yeah, because that doesn't make sense. Also, this is very inaccurate testing. The clutch is set up right now for uh, just stock. So, yeah. and for the stock for the 30 inch tires. So, yeah, we're going to have to do some yeah. finessing on the clutching here. I think so. All right, we are back. Yep. Those results were kind of janky, yeah. not the best, and we're going to mess with the clutching. Yeah, I think that um, after putting that tune and the exhaust on, we definitely have to do a little clutch work to it. I can feel it when I'm on the throttle and driving it, and I can feel how more responsive it is. I can feel the power is there, so I know after we do some more clutch work, it's going to make this thing really scream. I think so, too. Yep. But that's the end of today's video. You will see more of the RS1 in the next one because we're getting ready to go riding right now. Exactly. Go rip this thing. So I want to say thank you to everybody, and we are so close to the 5,000 subscribers. We just busted over four. Let's try getting 5,000 subscribers by the end of December. Exactly. And also, I, within the by the next video, I believe there will be a merch drop, 10 plus, plus pieces of clothing, a bunch of stuff for you guys to choose from. Thanks for watching Dirt Dudes UTV, and we'll see you in the next one. Later, guys.